Good morning. I hope everybody's doing good. All right, I'm here another day. Yesterday was May 20th, right? The 20th day of May. And every day when we move forward, we move forward one number, right? And goes up by one. So yesterday was 20. So now we're in the 20 numbers after 20 is 21. And 21, we are still having, I mean, it's still going on, right? It's still happening or just starting. And today is Autumn's birthday. Tuesday was Bosma's, today is Autumn's birthday. So I want to wish a happy birthday to Autumn and hope you have a great day. She's turning six too. Wow, so a lot of you are already six and there are a few left that will turn six in the summer. And on the last day, when I do my last video, I'll tell you whose birthdays are in the summer that they will be turning six, but we won't be in school or we won't be learning, all right? Okay, so today is June 21st. If yesterday was Wednesday, yesterday was the middle of the week. Yesterday was Wednesday, so today is, what did I say? Thursday. Yeah, it is Thursday, June 21st. Oh my gosh, not June because I saw June right here. It is May, May 21st, 2020. All right, so looking at our numbers now of how many days Every day we keep taking one away. Wow, so now it's gonna be easier to go backwards. How many days do we did we have yesterday? 10. We have 10 and we take one away. That should be easy. Uh-oh, there are no ones, right? No ones, so we have to break up that 10. So if we have a group of 10, we're gonna to have to break it up. We break it up. And when we break them up, we've got all the unit cubes or we would have had all of the straws, right? And we take one away. What should we have left? We should have nine. We should have nine of our unit cubes or if it was our bundle of straws, we would take off the rubber band and take one away. And instead of 10, it would be nine, nine. So we've got nine days of learning, nine days of school left. Wow, it's going fast, just like I said the other day. And we're getting closer to the summer. Once we get to June, it'll be the summertime. And woo, it feels like summertime already, right? It's been pretty hot woo, these past couple days. Now let's look at our next number. 167 plus one more so that we are still going to only add it to the ones place so if we have seven plus one and that makes what eight yes so here we're counting backwards and here we're counting forward taking one away adding one adding one right so here i still could have drawn my picture I have 10 and I still could have taken one away, right? You can use your fingers, you can use the cubes, or you can draw a picture to always help you to make sure you've got the answer. Yes, you can just think of the answer in your head too, but when you do this, it helps you check it to make sure that it is right. All right, wow, so 168 days of learning we have had since the first day of school. All right, so let's look at our sight words. Consonant blends, we haven't practiced. We'll practice them again next week because we'll do them again next week. Look at some other consonant blends. But sight words, four of these were unscrambling this week and the other four will unscramble next week. Okay, I'm gonna mix them up. Let's see, ready? Man. Look, has, here, had, 
had, have, girl, boy. All right. So today for our check-in, I want you, it might be a little tricky, but we're going to use a sent, make a sentence with the word here. And this here means like right here where you are. We are, I am here at my home, right? Um, or I could say that my grandsons are here with me. This is not the here, like our hearing for our senses, because that would be a different way that you would spell it. There would be a different way to spell that. So here, like here we are. All right, here. Okay, so today will be our science day because yesterday was our second math day and our writing day, handwriting and writing all together. So today is science and tomorrow is science. So for science, we are going to be talking about plants now. Talking about plants. Talking about, all right, so we are going to be talking about plants now. And we are going to review what plants need to live, right? All living things, things are living if they can breathe, if they need food, if they um, have babies, and if they um, grow and change, right? And grow and change. So plants are living things. Plants are living things. Do you remember what plants need to live? Hmm, just like people, right? Let's see. Plants do need air. Right? Plants do need air. Oh, plants also need water. Oh, and I'm going to draw like a little watering can, right? A watering can. And the water, right, we can water the, the plants, but plants can also get their water from what? From rain. They can also get their water from rain, okay? Let's see, do plants, oh, people need clothes. Do plants need clothes? <laughs> no, they don't need clothes. Do plants need food? Well, yes, they do, but they don't eat food like we do, right? They make their own food. And what they need to make their food is the, what's that? Sun, yes. They need the sun to help them make their food. And there's also one more thing that plants need to help them grow and move. And it helps what, it, it's what helps them stay in place. Let's see, what would this be? What do you think? Soil or dirt, right? They need the soil because that's what helps them stay in place, but they also need space so they can keep growing. Just like when we are a baby, we're in a baby, we're in a crib, right? Because we're small, but then once we start growing, do we sleep in the crib all the time? No, we get a bigger bed. And then when we get bigger and grown up, we get a bigger bed because we need space because we keep growing. And just like your clothes, you don't have the same clothes. You need new clothes every time because you keep growing. Well, plants need more space in the soil. There has to be enough space. Sometimes if you're growing a plant in a little pot and it starts to get bigger, you might have to move it to a bigger pot because it needs more space. All right, so these are the four things that plants need. Air, water, sun to make its food, and the soil because that's where it lives, right? It needs the soil for the nutrients, but also it needs all the space. It needs the space. All right, well, I'm gonna quickly read this little story of Grow, Flower, Grow. Oh, but wait, before I read it, I forgot. Let's see what we can remember. What are different kinds of plants? What are different kinds of plants? Oh, my life here. Okay. Oh, trees are plants. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see, what else? Uh, the bushes and the shrubs are plants. Grass is, are, is a plant. Flowers are plants, right? Um, a vine. So in this picture, there are so many plants and it's just showing us some of the different plants. The vines, the grass, the bushes, um, and the trees. So all of these are plants. Remember, some plants, some plants can have only leaves, like the ferns. Palm trees have different types of leaves than another plant. Oh, this fir tree, um, a pine tree is a plant. Vines and even the tall, tall grass. But sometimes some plants can have flowers right some plants oh excuse me can have flowers but not all plants grow flowers only some of them okay all right so we're talking about what plants need to grow so let's read this story grow flower grow the author is lisa bruce illustrator rosalind birdshaw and scholastic gives us permission to read this story Grow, flower, grow. One day, Fran found a flower pot filled with soil. And poking out of the top was a tiny green tip. I will grow this flower, Fran said to Fred. Oh, you see right there? She's going to help it grow. So she took it home. Grow flower, she said. But the tip stayed tiny. It didn't grow. She said, grow. Hmm. I think this flower is hungry, Fran said. So Fran went to the fridge and inside she found some of her favorite food. And she gave the flower a slice of pizza. And then the next day, Fran gave it a piece of cheeseburger. <laughs> and then she gave it spaghetti. Two chocolate chip cookies and a large spoonful of strawberry ice cream. <gasps> Look at the pot. She even gave it one of Fred's juicy bones. But the flower didn't grow. The tip stayed tiny. Ugh, Fran got fed up. Silly flower, Fran said, and she threw it out the back door. Oh no. What does fed up mean? That she ugh, was tired and mad because it's not growing. Well, the flower pot fell onto the ground and it rolled away and the rain fell on it. And then the wind blew on it. And then the sun shine and shone the sun shone on it it was shining on it and finally the tiny green tip grew and grew and grew until one day Fran and Fred went outside to play 
And when they opened the door, a surprise was waiting. A big, beautiful flower pot. Oh, a big, beautiful flower. Sorry, just for Fran. Wow, look at that. And, oh my goodness. So she knew that the plant was living and the plant could grow and she was trying to give it what she ate. But did it work? Mm -mm. She didn't know what plants needed. So when she threw the plant out, did it get what it needed? Yes, and it grew. All right, well, in your assignment for today, you are going to review what plants need. One more time, there's a little video, and you're going to, for the activity, sort the pictures at the bottom. What are things that plants need to grow, and what are not things that plant need to grow, that plants need? I wanna see if you paid attention and you remember. All right, and don't forget your check-in. Write a sentence with the word here. All right, bye.